Hi Capricorn, this reading is for you if you are secretly in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. We'll have two separate spreads in this reading. The first spread is uh, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then if the feelings are mutual in the second spread, we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if there's person's heart is with some someone else or if there's something else going on. In the second spread, we'll see new love coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Capricorn, uh, let's see what's going on with the, the person on your mind. We have the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, um, the Hermit, and the, the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. Well, I already know what we're going to do in the second spread, uh, Capricorn. In the second spread, I will not be looking at the potential between you and this person. You can give it a shot with this person if you want. We'll talk about it in just a second, but in the second spread, we'll be looking at a new person coming into your life. So anyway, let's talk about this situation real, real quick. This person is just sitting in this broken-hearted energy. They're just sitting in that energy, right? As a matter of fact, the first card I came out is the Three of Swords. It is a card of a broken heart. It's a card of uh, devastation, feeling betrayed, feeling stabbed in the back, right? So something just happened in this person's life. I don't know if this was between you and them or between them and somebody else. And it doesn't even have to be about love. Perhaps something else just went south for this person. They just went through some kind of a devastation or a broken heart you know they're not happy right now they're definitely not happy they're very frustrated right the seven of cups the next card are over mm, together with all the other cards it's like their their judgment is clouded a little bit they're uncertain they don't know what to do they are all over the place with the seven of cups Okay, and uh, the Hermit right next to that, that could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Hermit is a card of somebody who wants to be alone, somebody who wants to be left alone. The Hermit is a card of going within, doing some soul searching, going through some, um, some kind of a thought process. Maybe this person is thinking about uh, just going somewhere, leaving everything behind, at least for now, and isolating themselves, right? The hangman on the bottom of the deck could be a Pisces, but the hangman is a card of nothing happening. It's a card of stagnation. So that's what's happening with this person right now. Again, I don't know what happened to them, but it doesn't look like they're looking forward to like starting any new relationships with anybody. And again, it could be completely separate from you. You know, if uh, you know that this person just recently broke up with somebody or they are divorcing someone or something, some kind of a other unfortunate event happened to them in the past. They just need to be left alone. Perhaps you thought that maybe it's an opportunity for you to come in and, uh, I don't know, cheer them up, try to lift them up, try to get something off the ground this way with this person, right? Just to be there for them. If you want to, go ahead. Like I said, give it a shot. But... From what I see here, this this person is not even being, they, they don't even want to be social right now. Okay, they just want to be by themselves. Okay, so yeah, let's move on. Uh, spread number two is a new person coming towards you in the near future. Here's the second spread. Capricorn, this is a new person uh, coming into your life. Uh, for some of you, you already know who this is. Uh, we have uh, the star clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, we also have the Page of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. We have uh, the Devil, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> I looked underneath that Nine of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles there. All right, so you've got somebody, maybe at your workplace, who is um, secretly spying on you. And <laughs> yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. Did you just recently go to an Aquarius birthday party? Somebody who is somehow associated with the way you make your money. If you did, then it could be that person, that Aquarius, or somebody you've met on an Aquarius birthday party, or somebody who attended that same birthday party. Right? Because we start with the star card. The star is an Aquarius major arcana card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. And we are wrapping up Aquarius birthday season as I'm recording this video. Right as I'm recording this reading, uh, reading, we have one or two days before the end of an Aquarius birthday season. The Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the star, is a card of work, business, and finances. It's a card of working on something. So for most people, it has something to do with the way with the way you make your money. 
okay? And uh, perhaps you just went to an Aquarius uh, colleague's, Aquarius uh, co-worker's uh, birthday party and uh, uh, perhaps you've got to know somebody a little bit closer, you know, perhaps this person simply works in the same industry, perhaps you could have, you could have met this person um, who works in the same industry with you. And uh, the next card that came out is the Page of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Page of Swords is a card of spying, keeping tabs on someone, and I think this this is what this person is doing <laughs> right now. I forgot to mention that Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the Nine of Cups sometimes comes through as a card of a party. That's where I was getting the uh, birth the Aquarius birthday party, right? For some of you, it could have been some other uh, work-related event, okay? Because both the Star and the Nine of Cups could also be interpreted as a card as cards of wish come true, okay? Perhaps you just close the business deal. You just uh, did something that has to do with work, right? Perhaps you just got a new job or a new person started at the work at your same workplace, and um, you know you could be celebrating that, right? Um, some companies throw welcome parties for new people joining, right? Or if you just close the business deal, you just finish the project, people go out at, and celebrate it, right? Or something like that. Um, yeah, so the Page of Swords is a card of spying. It's clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. I believe you're the person in the Nine of Pentacles. And the remaining two cards on the table, the Devil and the Queen of Pentacles, both of, you, both of those two cards are your cards. Okay? And uh, what I can tell you is that this person has a lot of admiration and a lot of respect for you. They could, yeah, this person is a secret admirer, right? But they have a lot of admiration and a lot of respect for you. Perhaps you're really good at what you do at work where you stand out of the crowd, you're really good in the industry, or you could be very popular in the same industry, or popular at the same workplace, right? Because the devil, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is admired. Right? This is a card of somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is glowing up, somebody who is respected, somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, doing very well financially, okay? And uh, the devil clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, that's you. <laughs> you know, one of your cards clarifying another one, right? And it's always a good sign to have your own uh, major arcana card in your own reading, especially with the uh, court card clarifying it. Yeah, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles underneath the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, I think this, from, from what I see so far, this person is like watching you, keeping tabs on you, but perhaps they're uh, educating themselves about you, they're learning what you like, they're learning what you don't like, they're, they're learning where you like to go shopping, or you, where you want to, where you like to go eat. Perhaps this person is getting ready to make a move, but they want to make sure they make this move correctly. You know, so... <laughs> and again, this, this person could even be a little bit intimidated by you. They could be, all right? So, but uh, the Ace of Pentacles is all about the golden opportunities. The Ace of Pentacles is, to me, the Ace of all Aces, right? I don't need to believe a lot of Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a package. It's like uh, all three Aces combined into one. So this person may think of you as uh, somebody they could spend the rest of their life with, because the Ace of Pentacles is all about long term. So anyway, I think this person will make a move. And when they do make their move, they want to, They will make the correct move. They will take you to the correct place. They will do what you like to do for fun, or they will play. take you to a restaurant, and uh, they're going to be serving food you like, or something like that. All right, Capricorn, hopefully all of this makes sense. But I think this person has something to do with the way you make your money. All right, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing the rest of February.